Hi everyone, Ivan from Webwash here. Today we'll continue our look into Display Suite by looking at a sub-module called Display Suite Switch View Mode. Let me start off this video with a question. What if you want to allow editors to have two different full content displays? So right here, we have our full content view mode, which we have created over the last two videos. But what if you want to allow an editor to go into the edit page and be able to select a different full content view mode? Well, this is where the display suite switch view mode module comes in. So to begin, let's go and enable it. So go to extend and just search for display suite, if I can spell that right. And you will see this sub-module, Display Suite Switch View Mode. Just check it and install it. Now go to uh, Structure. And the first thing we'll do is create another view mode. Okay, so click on Display Modes and click on View Modes. And what we'll do is create a new one. Let's create it for Content, which is the node. And we'll just call this full content sidebar. Now, we we won't really configure this full content with a sidebar. This is just uh, for the video. So just click on save. And what we need to do is go back into structure, uh, display suite. And let's just go into manage display and switch on this view mode. And what I'll do is click on full content display and and this gives me the opportunity to demonstrate this clone layout functionality. And what we can do is simply clone all the fields and the display suite configuration over uh, the display suite configuration from the full content view mode to our new view mode. And just click on clone layout. All right, what, what we'll do is just remove a few of these few of these fields so that we know that the new view mode has taken over and we'll click on save. Okay, now if we go to content and edit our test article, you'll see that there's this new option called display settings. And from here, you get to choose the view mode. So if we were to select full content, you can even see a preview of the layout. So if we select full content, you can see that this is our original full content, which is perfect. And then if we select full content sidebar, you can see that our other one without the two fields, so the title fields, are gone. And this gives editors an enormous amount of flexibility. They could essentially have different layouts for different for different types of pages, but they can still use the single uh, content type. And this makes your, your site building life much easier because you won't have to create 10 different page content types just because an editor wants a different layout for a specific page. So the final thing I'll show you is the uh, permissions. So click on people and click on permissions. And there should be a, yeah. So the switch view mode submodule uh, implements a few permissions, which is useful if you want certain people to have access to the dropdown and other people you don't want to have access to the dropdown. So here you have three options, um, switch, uh, switch the view mode on any content type and then these will automatically um, be added depending on how many content types you have. So if I was to create another content type called product, well then you would have the option called switch view modes on products, for example. So there you go, that's how you use the switch view mode submodule. 
Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want to learn more about Drupal, head over to webwash.net where you can learn about Drupal 7 and as well as Drupal 8. If you want to uh, watch more of these videos, then don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.